Hello everyone and welcome back to 1.16 Survival Let's Play and in this episode we'll be building a flower shop and a tower. So let me show you some things that I did off camera. As you can see over here we have loads and loads of foliage on our cactus farm building. And let me show you how much cactus I have from AFK from maybe about 3 hours I think. So we got 6 stacks and 5, 6 stacks and 5, 6 stacks and 5 and that's what I have. So yeah, and over here we have a little crop field area and a flower bed area. It just looks really, really nice and fits in the well, fits in the area very well. Over here is this side, and then over here we have a little, like a um, backside bit where like all storage is happening. So we've got item frames, we've got barrels, campfires, flower pots, and no blocks and lanterns. Over here is this side, more of these flowers, and yeah, this is basically the cactus farm building. And over here we have a lovely pond, which I think it looks so, so nice. We also have a our sugarcane farm building, and then we also have a path going from here to here. Now it's almost my turn, so let me just go and quickly sleep, but before I go and quickly sleep, Here's a bridge leading across to this place where we're going to build more farms in the near future. So yeah, let's just go to sleep. Okay, so we arrived at our village now and I've got a little bit of an area planned as I'm going to be doing a lovely walkthrough of how to build like a flower shop. So we're going to be building a flower shop today and I think it will fit in with the area so well. So let's go and grab the materials and I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed the materials and oh, we need to eat first. So I'll be doing a time lapse on me building this flower shop and I really hope that you enjoy. Let's go. <laughs>
hope that you enjoyed the little time lapse of me building this building and it's been a little bit while since I would film a time lapse as I've put loads and loads of things around this building. So over here we have more foliage. I also have some cracked stone bricks to break up the stone brick. More foliage, rose bushes, oak leaves, all in its glory. As it's a flower shop, we need a lot of flowers and let's go inside. So inside we have this armor stand which has chainmail armor which is holding holding like a row sorry poppy out of you poppy out at you and it's like saying hi. Over here is the counter bit which is displaying all of the flowers which it owns. And this flower is represent all the tulips as in every single one of the kind. So yeah, this is basically the downstairs of the flower shop. Let's go upstairs. So over here we have three, um, I, I mean four, sorry, four chests and I'll definitely stock them with flowers so that the flower person can sell them to all of our lovely villagers. So we have four chests right here. We also have loads of paintings which are totally different. They look so, so nice and some red carpet. Over here we have like a private storing area for our flowers. And we just have some item frames, flower pots, snow blocks, campfires, chests, lanterns, and it just looks so, so nice. So yeah, this is basically our flower shop done and dusted and out of the way. But it looks so, so good and I'm really, really proud of this shop. Okay, so let's just go and build a tower right now. So I want to show you how I build my towers. So the first thing that you need to do when you build a tower is to texture it. You don't want it to be all full of stone because that just doesn't look nice. So you can texture it using like andesite, stone bricks and cobblestone. So we're going to go and texture those. Just like this. You can add like a bit of andesite. You can also add some stone bricks in some areas. And yeah, this is basically what you must do when you have a big blank surface. I love the texture, it's one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft. Yeah, so we just, you know, put a lot of things in and that's basically all you do. So when I'm done texturing this, I will be right back. Okay, so when you are texturing, it should look something like that. And then we're gonna grab our polished and it's like full blocks. I'm gonna grab our polished and designed stairs. Also gonna grab some stone brick stairs and we're gonna do the castle granulations. Also need to grab some of these things, these things and some granite. And it's almost night time. Okay, so I slept and it's daytime now and let's just go up and make this castle granulations. Oh no, th th this is too high. Let's just break this and go down. So the first thing that what you want to do is to grab these kind of stairs and place them just like so. And oh, oh, whoops, not that kind of stair. I meant polished and the side stairs. Place them one, like one of them every single other block. And by the way, they must be upside down. So yeah, this is what you, what you do. One here, one here. One right here, and three more on this side. So you're gonna do this to every single side of your tower. The next thing that you do is grab your polished andesite full blocks and place one on top of each of these stairs. Just like so. Then you're gonna grab your stone brick stairs and you're gonna place one in every single you know, like um, the gap between the polish and the site, just so that you can fill it in and it looks really, really nice from down below. So do that to every single side. The next step is to place stone brick stairs just like this onto the polished and the site blocks. I remember the flat site flat space of the stair must be facing the outside. So yeah, do this to every single polished and the side full block. And there you go, that's your granulations done. Now, if you want to make the top bit, which I'm gonna do right now, you're gonna grab your um, 
darker logs and you need to strip them. Personally, I prefer to strip logs, but you can make it unstripped if you want to. You can also use spruce, but I, I just like to use Zarco because it looks much more better in my opinion. So you put five on each of these. Oh, whoops. Two, three, four, five. Do the same on here. Two, three, four, five. And the last one, two, three, four, and five. And yeah, this is basically what you must do. Now let's go quickly get back up. And I need some stairs. Let me just go and craft some stairs very quickly. Okay, so put an upside down stair on each corner, just like so. One here, one here, let's go to this area, put one here, one here, and let's put the last three right here, just like so, and I need more stairs. Okay, so when you've done this, we're going to put an upside down stair, just like so, then you're going to put a normal stair on each side, another upside down stair, and then a dark oak wood slab. Do the same on each side. And that's what pump came about as the basis of your um, tower, like the outer ring of it. Do it just, just like this, and I need more stairs. Okay, right, it's becoming a recurring theme right now. I, I, I just need more stairs. Let's just make some. Oh, whoops. Okay, that's gone. For me, doing this style is very, very nice because it's just so fun to play around making towers and it just looks so, so nice. Now, the next step that you need to do is grab your things and make it a full block, just like this, a stair. Then you're going to grab an upside down stair. Then you're going to put a full block and then a stair. And then in the middle, place one, two, three to make a full block. And yeah, do the same on each side. And then when you get to the top, place in a, like, something like this, which is a stone brick wall, a spruce fence. And I, and I got to get up there. By the way, the end rod is like if you want to have it or not because like you might not actually have gone to the end yet but i just like to have an end rod because it looks really nice and adds a little bit of like a marker for our village and i need some slabs okay let me just craft some quickly okay so when you've done that place a granite slab right here and then a full block full block granite stairs and then a full block, full block right here. And then a granite slab. And do that on every single side. And that is your tower complete. It looks really, really good and it just adds a lot, a lot to the area. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you like my content, make sure to like and subscribe. I really had so much fun building this, this um, flower shop behind me and that tower just above my Minecraft head. This is our Bunny Giraffe Minecraft signing out.